Uh, I thought we played extremely uh, well today. Uh, didn't play down to the level of competition. Um, we protected our home floor, which was important. Uh, we came out and played really good defense. We stifled them early. I thought our press bothered them as well, created some turnovers to get us some early opportunities to score. Uh, and just throughout the game, I thought we did a really good job on defense. I thought we did a really good job of sharing the basketball. Uh, so in, this ends the uh, non-conference slate. Uh, I think overall we had a really good run uh, the first 13 games. Uh, we've proven that we can win on the road. We've proven that we can win on a neutral site. Uh, more importantly for me, we protected our home floor. So uh, really excited where we stand right now and really excited to, uh, to get started here with back play. Talk about um, the importance of having a bounce back and going into conference play with a win. Uh, well, it's important to bounce back. You don't want to go into conference uh, with a loss, but it's more important to protect your home floor. Uh, and I thought, you know, from start to finish, uh, these guys did that tonight. Um, you know, losing on the road is tough. Um, obviously, we have three losses, but when you look at our schedule overall, we've proven that we can win in someone else's building with a, you know, uh, a win in, at North Texas early on. Uh, then, you know, we proved that we can win uh, at a neutral site with winning the Jamaica Classic. Uh, in all season, we've uh, had good wins, especially here on our home floor. Uh, a couple of tough losses on the road, uh, but overall, those teams were really good. And speaking of Irvine, Michigan State, and UNLV, um, they took care of their home floor, um, but we learned a lot through those losses as well. So uh, we bounced back here after losing two on the road to really good basketball teams. Uh, and for us, we just want to continue to get better as we head into conference play. And then talk about um, the getting the offense going again with the 20 assists. Uh, these guys turned down good shots for great shots. I thought we set good screens. I thought guys remained confident uh, in their shot. Uh, I thought we were a little bit hesitant at Michigan State and UNLV, and that could have been the road. Uh, both those teams are really good defensive teams. Uh, but I challenged our guys just to remain confident, continue to believe in themselves, uh, take shots, make shots, share the ball and just play Eastern Michigan basketball, and uh, that's what we saw today. All right, my question is for Chris. Uh, Chris, you're one of four Eagles to reach double figures tonight. Uh, five and nine from the field. You've attempted more field goals tonight, really, than you have since Jamaica. Is that the game plan for you to get more shots? Uh, not the game plan, but uh, Coach Murph is always telling me to stay aggressive and just always uh, attack, uh, use my athleticism and attack the rim. And for Thomas, you were four of eight from beyond the arc, uh, set career highs with 20 minutes and five rebounds. How do you feel heading into conference play? Um, I know uh, I haven't been shooting great lately, like last couple games. So um, it's great to have confidence back and everything. So um, hopefully we got the groove back and everything, and we'll see how it goes.